Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna show you how you can upload audio or music to YouTube. So let's say you have an MP3 file, maybe you have a WAV file on your computer that you wanna upload to YouTube. I'm gonna show you step by step how you can do that. All right, well let's jump into it. So here I am on my desktop and what we're gonna do, this is a Windows 10 PC, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an app called the Photos app. I know it sounds kind of bizarre, but trust me, this will do the trick. So let's open up uh, the Photos app. What you're gonna do is you're simply gonna type in photos. Uh, you'll see an app called Photos show up as the best match. Let's go ahead and click on that. So I'm gonna click on the Photos app. It's gonna fill up full screen. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click on new video. Okay, so new video project, start a blank project. Um, so here's my blank project and I'm gonna call this um, audio for YouTube, okay? We're gonna click on OK, and so now I'm in this blank canvas here. And so what I wanna do is, I, I'm gonna take a step back here, and so I have this audio file called Supernova by Steven Stratford, that's my brother, so I'm gonna play that real quick. So there you hear the audio, and I wanna take this song and I wanna make it available on YouTube. Now the one thing that I have to do is to be able to put a song on YouTube, you need some type of image to go along with it, or you need a video to go along with it. You can't just upload the audio on its own. And so that's why we're using the photo app, um, because we wanna add either a photo or a video to go along with this song. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, the first thing that uh, we want to do is we want to add a photo or a video. So here I have a photo file on my PC and I'm just going to drag and drop that over into the project library. Uh, and so here you see it in here and ultimately what I want to do is I want to click on custom audio but that's currently blocked out and the reason why is there's nothing on my storyboard. So what I'm going to do is I just added this to my project library. Uh, and now I'm gonna drag it dra down onto my storyboard. So here you see I have my first item in my storyboard. Um, and like I said, you could add video files, you could add multiple photos, whatever you wanna do, and you could fill up this storyboard. So let's say you have a song and you wanna show, let's say a series of 10 or 15 images. We'll just drag and drop the 10 or 15 images down. Um, let's say that you have a video file and you want that to be the background of the video. Just drag the video file down. So you could very easily do that. Uh, so what I want to do now is uh, you'll see this uh, number down here. It says 3.0. So that means that this image is going to stay up for three seconds. Well, I want I want it to stay up for the duration of the song. So I'm going to click into this song real quick, and you'll see that this song is three minutes and 52 seconds. Okay. So three minutes, 52 seconds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this photo, and I'm going to go to edit the duration. And what I need to do now is, you know, they have all these preset amounts, but this is obviously longer than just seven seconds, so I wanna customize this. Well, so three minutes, 52 seconds, how many seconds is that? I really don't know off the top of my head, uh, but you have three minutes, so I'm gonna take three minutes times 60 seconds, that's 180 seconds, and then plus I have 52 additional seconds. So it's 232 seconds total. Um, so let's go ahead and enter uh, 232 in here, and I'm gonna change that. Uh, and now I'm gonna click on custom audio. So let's click on custom audio and I'm gonna go to add audio file. Um, and here's the supernova. What I can also do is I could simply click on the audio file and I could drag it over into here. Um, and then you could say, hey, do you want the song to play for the entire length or just part of the length? So let's say you wanna upload two songs. Maybe you just wanna adjust when those songs play. But in this case, I'm gonna have the song play for the entire video. So I'm gonna click on done then. And so now what I could do I'm gonna press play and so you see this image, you hear the music, I'll skip forward and you could hear the song play some more. Uh, now what you could also do if you just wanna get fancy, uh, you have some other things like you could add motion. So here I could, let's say zoom in on center. Um, so I clicked on that. So now you see it kind of zooms in on the photo. Uh, you could add different uh, 3D effects. So maybe I add you know, fireworks and so kind of, um, let's see what that looks like. Um, so as the video is playing, you get little firework effects. Um, you know, whatever you want to do. They have all sorts of things you could add. You could also put different filters on. Um, so especially if you're going to be playing a song, you might want to add some more visual interest by having things other than just the photo show up the entire time. Uh, and so what you do is once you, you know, add all your effects, all your images, and you have the music playing for the duration of the video, uh, what you do is you click on finish video. So I'm going to click on finish video. I just recommend doing the highest quality. Um, you could choose other qualities, but if you're going to be uploading on YouTube, you might as well go with uh, 1080p. Uh, and then you simply uh, click on export. And so what that's gonna do now is I'm gonna choose a location. We're just gonna put it on my desktop. Uh, it's gonna be called audio for YouTube. And now I'm gonna go ahead and export. 
Now, uh, it should go relatively quickly since, you know, it's a pretty simple uh, video. There's just a photo um, with, you know, some fireworks and some music playing in back, so it'll go pretty fast. And then once that's done exporting, uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up a browser window and we're gonna go to just YouTube, so the YouTube homepage. I'm gonna show you how to upload that file that we just created. Um, so once that's all done, we're gonna click on this plus button on YouTube. Uh, we're gonna click on upload video. Okay, and I'm gonna just put this on half my screen and my desktop on the other half. Um, so here you see that it's you know it's done creating the video. I have some fireworks. I could turn off the sound of those fireworks if I want. Um, so there's my final video. Um, you'll see the video here. And now all I have to do is drag and drop that over onto YouTube. And now that will su that'll successfully upload my audio, whether it's an MP3, whether it's a wave, that'll put that file on YouTube. And then you could choose, you know, do you want to make it publicly available, private, um, scheduled, kind of however you want to release your video on YouTube, you have full control. Uh, over how you want to do that. And hey, that's as simple as it is. That's how you could use the Windows 10 photo app to uh, create a video with your music. And then once you export that video, you can very easily uh, upload it to YouTube. And that's all it takes to uh, get your music up on YouTube. So whatever type of music you're putting on YouTube, uh, this, uh, this makes it really easy to do that. Anyway, I hope uh, you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And if there are any other videos you want to see in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add that to my list of videos to create. I'm always looking for new ideas of things to create and to help people with. So feel free to leave that down below. And hey, I'll see you next time. Bye.